everyone welcome to a, another video uh, in this video we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint space wolves because we all know that very soon the space wolves will be getting a update in psychic awakening and we'll probably be getting something cool so what i'm going to do i've got a primera space marine here i'm going to basically just cover this leg area and then I'll, I'll finish everything off um, for the end as well. I'll probably do another video for how to do freehanding on pack markings and things like that. But let's get started here. So the colours you're going to need are you're going to need some rust grey. You're going to need some the fang. Some Fenrisian grey some blue horror and just as for the for the extra deeper shadows some abandoned black you could use contrast uh green medium for that if you really need to so first things first just get some of that on your wet palette using my um, artist oval brushes and my red grass red palette and then just get the color over the top I've primed the model in um, Gracie now you could probably use a chaos black spray but what you'll find is this it's quite a weak color so you'll probably need quite a few coats to get it over the top so some nice thin coats and uh, get it on don't worry about being neat at this stage it's all about just moving the brush fast Keeping it on the layer. So, Space Wolves are one of my favourite chapters. Really, really, really like them. Love the Norse mythology that's involved with them. There you go. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to let this dry and then get a couple of coats on. So get a nice solid base coat on it and then we'll be back in a second. And that's done. So what I did was it took me about three coats, three thin coats to get a solid, a solid uh, finish on it. So what we do now is we're going to, we're going to start putting the adding the the shades in so what you're going to need is about 50 50 rust gray and the fang at least equal parts you essentially just want to darken down the rust gray so you don't want to put too much um of the fang in straight away because you don't want that you want the transition to be quite subtle for the start and then just the start a little bit of the excess and then just at the bottom of the knees start adding this this will start giving the armor some definition And then into the recesses as well. And just around and then we're here, just the bottom of this armor panel. Be quite rough with this 
Don't really worry too much about it. So you're going to be using a darker colour shortly. And this will sort of, when it dries, you'll start giving that, that shadowy area at the bottom. like this so for here one thing I always sort of get I always had difficulty is where to put the shadows so if you can imagine the light coming down the back of the leg here just bring your your shadow color in like that and then around the bottom I think I'm coming down with a bit of a, a cold and then the same here and then in the line just like so so what you're doing is you just want to sort of put the, the shadowy colours in and then the same here and then for this panel just sort of half, about halfway up sort of just pulling the color down to the recesses and then along the recess at the top again don't worry too much you're going to be darkening the shadows down a lot more and then for here just darken that down so once you've done that and you're happy enough with it, once it starts drying, you'll you'll see the subtle difference between the rust grey and the armour. It might be quite hard to see on the camera. But what you want to do then is get some more fang and add that to the next mix. So it's almost pure fang. And then again, just as we did before. Feather that off. Um, and the good thing with this as well is, like on the other knee, because the space walls are so covered in pack markings and things, on the other one you could put a pack marking on. So you're only needing to do this the once. And then just run this into the recesses. Because the paint is quite thin, it just naturally just runs into it. Just like so. And then again, just along the edges. And then the deepest. There you go. So you're really start, starting to see it now. The definition just starting to pop out. So you can just get a little bit of, of that mix and just pull it. And just feather it off if you. And again. So what I'm going to do. So I'm going to finish this leg off and then we'll get to the next stage. Okay, so that's that done. Now what you want is to get some pure fang. And this is for the deepest recesses. And really just put that the real deepest points now you could add some black to this if you really wanted to um, and really sort of bring it down especially for like said this one here just 
like that. And this really sort of in the darkest points. And this will make the armor panels stand out. And then just around the foot here. You get that really sort of deep part now. So what you want to do, for the first highlight, you want to get some rust grey, and then a little bit of Fenris grey, and keeping the paint quite thin, just start applying the highlights and then here you just sort of bring this spot highlight up like that. and then you just a nice thin sort of almost it's almost like a glaze just at the top of the armor panels And then on the top of the on the top of the feet and the top of the foot. You start seeing the highlight building. And for this part here as well, you can just bring this. Highlight down and then on the top here as well, and then on the top. So, what you want to do is just you just want to bring it's like a thin glaze, but just it just brings that armor panel up and then just adds. Some contrast into the armor. Still looks quite flat because we've got no real edge highlights yet. But if you want, you can start with that same mix of just that edge highlighting. Like so. And then you really want to be ultra careful. Primera Space Marines are great for practicing your edge highlighting because there's so many edges on them and you can just really go to town and practice with, with the Primaris. I think once you've painted quite a few of them you become a little bit more confident, your hand is a little bit steadier and you get just a little bit neater. And then just a long... Yeah. So you can already see the difference. Just drag the brush along the edge. You're gonna, we've got a couple more highlights to go anyway, so this just sort of gets that start. Like 
we go. So what I'll do is I'll finish the edge highlighting and then we'll get back to the next stage. And that's that hydra light done. So as you can see, the armor panel is really starting to pop now. So to finish it off, what you can do is kind of do this in two stages if you wanted to, but or you can just do one. You get the blue horror, thin it down slightly. And then what you want is the, the most extreme sort of highlights. So you can sort of just put a little white dot there, like that. And then on the very, the highest points, just highlight it. You don't need to do the whole thing. And then just on the, the corners. Right. What this will do is it will make it really make it pop. Just like that. So hit again here. Just a little dot on the top corner of this panel. Like that really sort of just bring those panels out a little bit more and then again just in the top corner here just like so and then on the top here You don't want too many of these um, because it'll take away from the miniature. Like that. And then just down here as well. Looks like so. And then for the top of the foot. If you just put a little line here, this little thin line, and then just a little edge highlight coming off the side, a little dot there, and then just enhance that a little bit more. So what you'll find is, because you've got the straight line, you've got this reflection here here into the knee sort of hitting this and then the top of the foot you get a natural straight line coming down and then that's it so that is essentially how i would paint my space walls and if you like that that'd be cool um, what I can do is in some other videos I can do some pack markings on this knee obviously I can finish off the miniature and then just show you some other cool space wolfy stuff um, as well as some battle damage and, and things like that but if you, if you like what I do uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel and obviously ring that bell you can follow me over on Facebook at 8 point star painting and I have a new um, format for my patreon page which is going to have ex content exclusively for Patreon members and the Patreon will be able to decide what they want to see and what they want um, what they want me to do for them. Uh, it'll be a lot more in-depth than the, the tutorials on YouTube are. Um, and ultimately they'll get to they'll get to see or pick what they would like to see through uh, monthly polls. Um, 
Patreon really does help me. It allows me to buy miniatures to do make content with. And, and in the long term, it'll allow me to upgrade all my equipment to, um, to basically produce better quality videos. So if you wanna if you wanna help me in that way, feel free to jump over to it and uh, jump into one of the tiers. But for now, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.